Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique machete, Krem's Tooth. To acquire this weapon we will need to come to the location known as Dunwich Boars, located in the zone Coastal Commonwealth. And on the Pip-Boy map, Diamond City is here and Dunwich Boars is all the way to the northeast, up near the top of the map. Just a warning, the exterior of Dunwich Boars is covered in raiders and the interior of Dunwich which boars is filled with raiders and ghouls. As always, for the sake of this video, I have gone through and cleared them all out already. So once inside, we want to turn immediately to the right and follow this hallway along. Once at the end, turn right once again and continue on straight ahead through two sets of fences. Once at this ramp, turn left and head straight down and continue heading down. Do not go up the staircase. Once the room gets a bit bigger, again, do not head up the stairs, but instead head straight ahead on the flat ground. Once at the yellow excavation unit, turn to the left and continue on straight ahead. Soon enough, we will hit this giant set of stairs. We want to head all the way down the stairs to the bottom. Once at the bottom, we want to walk around this pump unit and head straight ahead through the sandbags, and we will find a red door that is chained. Once the door is unchained and opened, we want to head straight through. Continue heading straight ahead, do not be tempted by lefts and rights. Once we reach the orange forklift, turn left through this doorway, continue Continue walking straight ahead. Once the room expands, turn to the right, head up this small set of stairs, and follow the natural flow of this cavern around to the right. The height of the brimstone construct will minimize, and we will be forced through a narrow tunnel. It will veer to the left, and we will find a body of water. Grab your nose and jump in. Also, do not use power armor for this, or it will be lost forever. Once near the bottom, we will find an opening to a cavern. Of course, swim into this area, and towards the back wall, we will find an incredibly curious sight. Some kind of altar with two mini nukes and in between is Krem's tooth, the unique machete we have been searching for. Pick up this crude blade. You should also note that there is a more than uncommon glitch in which Krem's tooth will not spawn in Dunwich Boars. As always, I have reduced my character stats to one and I have no bobblehead magazine or perk effects applied. This will give us the absolute minimal base stats of Krem's tooth. So Krem's Tooth has a base ballistic damage of 30 and either 3 poison damage or 3 bleed damage. I'm not sure if that's a drop of poison or a drop of blood. Speed is medium, weight is 2, nice and light, and the value is 50. As we can see, the current mod is Sacrificial Blade. Now, this is actually a unique machete modification that can only be found on Krem's Tooth. Interestingly, at the weapons bench, the Sacrificial Blade mod can be removed from Krem's Tooth. It will then go into your inventory as a mod that can now be applied to any machete in the game. As you can see here, I've removed it from Krem's Tooth and then applied it to a standard machete. And finally, up the top of the middle, we can see Krem's Tooth. The targets bleed and are poisoned. Exceptional damage. Krem's Tooth is a religious item tied to the god, or Kweltoth, as a sacrificial knife. It was also a tool for the religious wars that it was likely created for use in, either before the advent of the first civilized nations or in the darker eras after the Great War. This weapon is one of a few remaining genuinely arcane artifacts left in the Fallout lore, with the Krivbekni Grimora being consumed by the Dunwich Obelisk and the Obelisk in turn being rendered inert by the book. Thus, Krem's Tooth is well guarded and closely watched by Oak Quartoth's dark eyes. I found Krem's Tooth to be an incredibly useful melee weapon. It is super light at a mere two pounds. It has the highest base ballistic damage of any machete modification, and of course do not forget its special or oh, ever so special effect, applying both a bleed effect and a poison effect, the two of which come together to apply an incredibly powerful dot, dot being short for damage over time. I will show you the power of this effect. It's so damn powerful, that effect needs its own suit of power armor. If you want to roleplay a crude, rough, brutal character, Krem's Tooth is the weapon for you. It has a crude look and incredibly high damage, a surprisingly effective special effect, and the Sacrificial Blade mod has extraordinary flexibility, as it is the mod that gives the weapon these effects and not a legendary effect. So if the Sacrificial Blade mod is added to a legendary version of a machete, that legendary machete will have 
have both the legendary effect it came with and the sacrificial blade modification effects of bleed damage and poison damage. And this weapon also satisfies my sweet tooth, as it makes up 50% of my favorite dessert, strawberries and cremes tooth. And here it is, cremes tooth in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I do hope that this video helped you in some way in acquiring this weapon or just understanding its flexibility and benefits and potential power. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.